Hi, this is Mr. Hall. I'm going to talk to you today about powers of 10 and exponents. All right, the first thing I want to do is show you what an exponent is. First, an exponent has two parts. The base, that's the big number on the bottom. The small number on top is your actual exponent. And each part has its own place. Okay, the base is what number you're going to be multiplying. The exponent is how many times you multiply it. This, 10 to the second power, is the same as 10 times 10. Because the base is 10, that's the number we're using. The 2 is how many times you see it up top. If you were to look at 10 times 10 times 10, it's the exact same. Except this time, instead of 2, we have 3. So the number that we're using becomes our base. We have 10s, so 10 is our base. The exponent is how many times we see it. 1, 2, 3. So 10 to the power of 3. One thing that students will mess up on is they will look at this 10 to the third power and they'll think it's 10 times 3. They'll think that 10 times 3 is 30 and that that's your answer. But as you can see, 10 times 10, just that first part is 100 over 30, and then times 10 again, it's 1,000. So it doesn't work quite that way. Another thing they'll do is they'll add instead of multiply. So remember, the base you multiply by the number of times you see the exponent, or 3. Here's a shortcut when you're helping your students. You could actually write this out, 10 to the fourth power. That means you have 10 four times. Then they could actually sit and multiply each. 10 times 10 is 100. This 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 100 is 10,000. Okay, a quicker way for students to do this in a way that they actually like a lot is to take that exponent and you start by writing a 1, this one out here. Then, whatever your exponent is, that's how many zeros you have. 1, 2, 3, 4. We come up with the same answer. So it's just a shortcut when you're multiplying or doing an exponent with a 10, you just write the 1 down and you put as many zeros as the number of exponents you have. Okay. Your students are going to see problems that look similar to this. It looks a little confusing at first and maybe even a little scary, but if you take it one step at a time, it's not scary at all. So the first thing I do is I write 4 times and I start solving 10 to the second. Now, like I said before, if you're multiplying an exponent that's 10 to any power, First, start with a 1. Then write down as many zeros as exponents. So two zeros. And you actually have 4 times 100. Now, any t number times a multiple of 10 is really easy because all you do is multiply 4 times 1, which is 4. And same thing, you just add how many zeros you have. It becomes 400. Here's another one. This one looks scary as well, and it's a little bit bigger. But don't let it be because it's not. The first thing you want to do is write your problem and simplify. 9 times 10 to the 4th. Remember our shortcut. You write a 1. How many zeros for how many exponents to the 4th power? So 1, 2, 3, 4. 9 times 10,000. I know that looks big, but it's actually really easy. 9 times 1 is 9. And then put as many zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 90,000. This is the part that seems to be a little bit advanced and difficult to grasp. It actually is not too bad, but it does take a little extra thinking. The first thing you're going to want to see is that they want you to take this number, 70,000, and make it into an exponent. To do that, you actually have to look at the place value up here of the 7. And your question should be, how can I use 10s to make a place value up there. So 10,000, not 7,000, 10,000. To do 10,000, I really have to count how many zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. I need 10 to the fourth power. Because remember, you do a 1 and four zeros, and you have 10,000. Multiply that by what's in the place value up here, 7, and you get your answer. 10 to the fourth power is 70,000.
Here's a bigger one. 240,000. To make that into an exponent, we actually have to look at these two top numbers. Okay? How many zeros do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. 10 to the 4th power times these two numbers equals our answer. It actually is not too bad when you actually look at it that way. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, and I'll try and clear them up. Thank you.